Welcome to the Travel Squad podcast, where adventure meets inspiration. We're your hosts. I'm Brittany. I'm Kim. And I'm Jamal. Together, we explore international destinations, hike epic national parks, and share unforgettable travel experiences with you, one passport stamp at a time. Our mission is to inspire you to travel by showing you how you can make it work no matter your budget, schedule, or experience level. We bring you along so that you can laugh, get excited, and start planning your own trip. So grab your ticket and your passport. And don't forget your travel insurance. And get ready to embark on a new adventure with us around the globe. Hey squaddies, Travel Squad Podcast is back with Just a Tip, a new Friday mini episode series where we give you quick travel stories, hacks, and recommendations to set you off into the weekend right. Today you have just me, Kim, for a solo episode to share my daycation experience at the Lake Austin Spa Resort. This is an all-inclusive, adults-only wellness resort and spa on the Lake Austin shoreline. It was named the number two destination spa in the world by Condé Nast Traveler Reader's Choice Awards in 2023, and it absolutely lived up to its reputation. Now, I've done spa days before. I did the Glen Ivy Hot Springs Resort in Corona, California, which is absolutely to die for. I've done a massage in Thermal Springs in Termas de Papayacta, way up in the Andes Mountains in Ecuador, and that was amazing. But for this being just 45 minutes from downtown Austin... It is truly a hideaway oasis and has really turned me into a luxury spa girly. So when I went, it was on Juneteenth. I had that Wednesday off of work, so I decided to take advantage of their local Lux package. This package for just $125, you get a 30-minute hydro circuit and you get access to their premises all day long. I had the most relaxing day and I'm going to take you through it step by step You can also go over to our TikTok at Travel Squad Podcast and you can see the entire thing because I filmed it all for you. My reservation was at 9 a.m. and I highly recommend you get in there as early as you can so you can take full advantage of the day. I got there at 8.30 a.m. I checked in. There's tons of parking. Upon arrival, you'll fill out some quick paperwork. Then you'll get your robe and your sandals and you'll change in their beautiful locker room. And then I went over to do the hydro circuit. So the setting of this is a Turkish style bathhouse. There's this bench and shower space, and it is set up for, I think two or three people is the max that it can fit. I was in there by myself when I did it, which is another benefit of going first thing in the morning. When I arrived, they had everything set out. It was a beautiful wooden tray that had the mud in it. It had a little spoon to serve the mud, and then it had these exfoliating gloves for you to rub it on yourself. No one is actually giving this to you. You're doing it to yourself. So you start by rubbing this thermal mud all over your body and rubbing it in with the exfoliating gloves and really exfoliating your skin. Then you go outside to the outdoor, very hot rainforest shower, and then you go right next to it to the very cold, cold plunge tub. They do recommend you stay in for at least two minutes to reap the benefits of the cold plunge. And then you can do it again and again as many times as you can fit in in your 30-minute slot. I ended up doing the circuit two whole times because I was filming at the same time too. So I definitely could have gotten three in if I was more focused just on the experience. You would have to ask for more thermal mud because there was barely enough for me to do two. So this was my first cold plunge experience and... The first circuit around, I could barely stand in there. It was so cold, especially after being in the really, really hot shower. I just was not ready for it. The second time around, I did so much better. I actually stayed in the full two minutes and it was amazing. I loved it. I'm not sold on the cold plunge. I'm not a cold plunge person after this, but it was a good experience and I really liked it. If I could redo my experience at the Lake Austin Spa Resort, I would also book a massage or a facial to really add more luxury and pampering to the day. The hydro circuit was cool. It was only 30 minutes. And really, I wanted to go to just enjoy the premises and have a relaxing day. And so I achieved my goal there. But if I would go again, I would definitely book one of the other experiences. So after the hydro circuit was done, I was free to roam the premises I had already scoped out a bunch of things to do on the website and the amenities that they had ahead of time. So after the hydro circuit, I was still in my robe, still in my sandals, which is another thing I really love about the spa. Everyone is just in robes and sandals walking around. It's a robe paradise. So I made my way over to the cafe and I got a caramel latte. 
They have free coffee, juices, and teas all day long. And then I took that and I started walking around. There are tons of lounge areas throughout the property, gardens, fountains. It's very relaxing, very serene, spa music type vibes everywhere you go. As I was walking down the path, I stumbled into the pool barn. It's this gorgeous, huge barn-like structure with a warm pool inside of it. It's the perfect temperature. They have a section where you could swim laps or you could just leisurely be inside the pool. They also do classes throughout the day. And so I happened to walk up on it as a class was about to begin. It was a water aerobics for posture class. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm here. I'm doing it. I've always been curious about water aerobics, but it tends to sway on the older lady side of things. And sure, it was today too, but I didn't care. I was the youngest person there and I was in there. And you know what? Water aerobics is actually a very, very good workout. I had core working. I was actually a little bit sore after. (laughs) I don't know if I should be embarrassed by that, but it was a good class. The instructor was fantastic. All of the guests were really friendly as well. A caveat about this for those that are just there as a spa guest for the day, if you want to do classes like this or the Tai Chi or the yoga or any of the other ones, it is $25 per class. In my opinion, if you're a spa guest, it should just be included as a spa guest, but it isn't. So just keep that in mind. If you are staying at the resort overnight and using these classes as a resort guest, they are for free. So that's good. I would definitely come back and stay there, especially because there were some classes on the schedule that I was really, really interested in, but the class schedule changes every day. There was one on there that's a kind of a floating sound bath experience. You're floating in that pool barn while someone is playing the flute in the pool barn. I really, really wanted to do that one, but it was on another day, not the day that I was there. They have other meditations and other things. So I would love to go back and hit that one up. After my water aerobics class, I was roaming the property a little bit more. I decided to check out the outdoor pool, which was very beautiful. There were tons of places to sit and lounge and day beds. There was a hot tub and the pool wasn't that cold. It had a little chill to it, but it was really nice to kind of go back and forth between the pool and the hot tub. They also have spa attendants at the pool that will come up so you can order adult beverages. I really love this part of my day. I just sat there and read a book and it wasn't too busy because it was a weekday. The weather was also very odd for a June day. We've had weird weather in Austin this summer, but a storm was on the horizon. So the temperatures were in the low 80s, which was fantastic for lounging out there with a book. After a little while of lounging out there, I started to get hungry, which is fantastic at this resort because lunch is served included with your spa experience from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. So I made my way back to the cafe and checked out the buffet that they had that day. They had things like broccoli and cheese flatbread, hibiscus juice, hummus, chips and guac, tabbouleh, bean salad, and a ton of other stuff. It was all really, really good. I would rate the buffet 10 out of 10. The area here was just such great vibes, like robe paradise. Everyone's just enjoying their drinks and food in their robes. And you can feel the energy of relaxation. It was a really, really good experience. After I had lunch and I was all full from that, I decided to go back and lounge some more by the pool. This time I went to one of the day beds that had a cover on it because the rain was beginning to start at this point. There was a hurricane rolling in and so we were getting some of that. So luckily they had covers on these day beds and it was actually amazing to be out there reading a book. Temperature wasn't cold, it was perfect temperature under the day bed with the cover. So I'm not getting rained on and just listening to the sound of rain. Like if you could get any more relaxing, then they add the sound of rain on top of it. It was amazing. After I stayed there for a little while, I decided to go back to the locker room area because there were a couple more things that I wanted to check out before calling it a day. In the gendered locker room area, there is a sauna, a whirlpool, and a steam room. And of course, there's showers and sink areas with brushes and all of that too. I wanted to do this water circuit here before heading out for the day. So I went in there. I wanted to go sauna, steam room, whirlpool, head out. The sauna unfortunately never got hot. And I had tried it earlier in the day as well. And then I come back to it later in the day now. And it still never got hot. The spa attendant, bless her heart, she kept trying to play with the settings and get it going. But it never really got hot. There were 
several women in there that were sitting in there trying to use it. It was a disappointing experience. I will say that. I would have really, really liked to have used the sauna that day. The steam room did make up for it. The steam room was so nice. Like you open the door and you're just hit with a cloud of steam. You can't even see anyone when you're in there. The spa attendant had come in and dropped some eucalyptus essential oils in there, which really made it even more so. I loved that. I did the steam room a couple times throughout the day, actually. Then, of course, the whirlpool, we went there and just enjoying it. It was very lukewarm. Unlike the hot tub by the outdoor pool, the whirlpool was not hot. I don't know if it was supposed to be or if it was supposed to be this lukewarm temperature. Relaxing nonetheless. And by this time, I was kind of ready to be heading out of there. I spent about six and a half hours in the place. So I took a shower and I left around 3 p.m. I wanted to head home before the rain really got bad that day and it was just about to start. So I made my way out of there. I was thoroughly pleased with my experience. I would definitely come back here and get a massage or facial. I would also love to stay at the resort. When you stay at the resort, you get a lot more of those benefits like the daily classes that are all included. You get all-inclusive breakfast, lunch, and dinner meals at the resort You could have a beautiful view of the lake from your resort. You get to use the kayaks and lake equipment too. They have different experiences where they can take you out on a boat or a hike or whatnot. So I would love to do a little staycation night or two at the resort as well. And then one other thing I did see they were doing that looked really, really cool just passed was a four-day fitness retreat with No Bull and a celebrity trainer, Isaac Boots. It looked amazing. I'm really, really into fitness and wellness retreats right now. I actually just booked a seven-day fitness and wellness retreat out in Mykonos for 2025. This one looked cool and it was really close to home. So I'll be keeping my eye on it. If they do another one out there, I would love to get in there. But overall, I would rate my experience 8 out of 10. Most of it was positive. There were a couple little things I would do differently or, you know, like the spa. But I would definitely go back and I loved it. And like I said in the beginning, I am now hooked on spa and wellness days. I really want to go to next here in Austin. There's a Miraval Resort. It looks amazing. For about $500, you can do a luxury spa day that includes your $250 spa credit for the massage or facial. And then you have all these different activities that they have there. Also the meals and whatnot. So I'm considering that one in the short term Why I wait for the Thrive Retreats in Mykonos in June, 2025. And that's that on that squatties. Thank you so much for tuning in to Just the Tip. Make sure to subscribe, leave a review, and follow us on all the socials at Travel Squad Podcast. And have so much fun traveling this weekend.